Hello and welcome to WLA Weekly here at the Langley Event Center. I'm your host, Tally Campbell. I'm here with the Maple Ridge Brards, Curtis Six, and Curtis, can I get your thoughts on the season so far? You've led the league in scoring for quite some time this year, as well as your team has been just jumping up in the standings. Yeah, you know what, our team's, uh, we had a good start to the season, we kind of slowed down a bit there um, in the last couple games, we haven't been as successful as we'd like, but um, you know what, we're, we're in a good spot right now, we got you know a little, little less than a little less than halfway to go in the year, so uh, we're just going to you know keep plugging away. and. Obviously, the, the the trade deadline passed, and we didn't make any moves, so we're we're happy with where we sit, and uh, we're just you know looking forward to these next eight games. And can I get your thoughts on the NLL coming back to Vancouver for the first time since 2004, with the Vancouver South playing out of the Langley Event Center? It's awesome. You know what? This is you know, the second biggest lacrosse market in Canada, and you know probably the second biggest box lacrosse market in the world. So uh, you know they need, they've needed a professional lacrosse league uh, team here for you know since they left since the Ravens left. So. It's, it's awesome to see the uh, the team come back here and hopefully they can get some success and you know, get some fans out. Thank you so much, Curtis. All right, thank you. We kick up the action Thursday night at Queen's Park Arena where the Lakers were in town. It was a very little penalty time, only a total of 14 minutes for the entire game, which made for a very even strength game. The Sand Valley's Logan Shots added five goals and three assists in a 13-8 win, while Neil Tack stopped 45 shots. On Friday night, it was a doubleheader as Burnby was in, back in action, taking on the Berards, and what a tight game it was through 60 minutes. With one minute to go, it was 10-6 Lakers, where the Berards would score three goals, but it wasn't enough as the Lakers would pull away with a 10-9 win. Burnby's Scott Jones had three goals and three assists in the win. And over on the uh, Paramount Arena, the Bellies were in town, where no sympathy was given to the Bellies. The Rocks rolled right over them, winning 15-6. Carson Young added three goals, while Rangers, Shatler, and Conway all added two in a defeat over the new Westminster Sembellies. On Saturday, it was another doubleheader where both games entered in a 9-8 final. First, the Timber were taking on the Adonacs, but the game went back and forth. But at 16.56 of the third period, Daryl Vettman would score the game-winning goal. The newest and Timber and acquired a trade deadline, scored three goals, and helped on four other assists. But the Adonacs, Brad Hickey, added two goals and five assists. And at the event center, the Shamrocks were in town to take on the Langley Thunder, where early in the third, Kyle Belton, assisted by Shane Jackson, scored the game-winning goal. Langley's Ethan Iannucci scored three goals, with the Rocks' Corey Small and Corey Conway netted two each in the loss. And in the final game of the week at Planet Ice, the A's were taking on the Barrage, where the Barrage led the way into the third, however the A's exploded with seven unanswered goals to take the game 12-9. The A's Matthew Dinsdale and Brett Hickey both added a hat-trick, while Daryl Vettman added two goals and two assists. And with only one week to go in the final regular season, the standings follow. In first place in the league of the Langley Thunder with 24 points. The Thunder have secured first place. In second with 17 games played of the Shamrocks with 20 points. Burnby falls behind them with 18. The A's are now in fourth place after a big week with 15 points. The Maple Ridge Brevards behind them with 17 games played with 14 points. Bellies with 13 and the Timberman in last place with 10 points. And in the final week of the regular season on Wednesday, July 24th, the Bellies are taking on the Thunder. Following day, the A's take on the Bellies. A doubleheader over on Friday night, the Thunder are taking on the Lakers. The team and travel down the island take on the Shamrocks. And on Saturday, Maple Ridge are in Nanaimo and Burnaby's taking on Quitlam to finish off their regular season in the Western Lacrosse Association. Thank you for tuning into this edition of WLA Weekly here on VSBN.ca. For all your local sports news, keep it right here to VSBN.ca.